It's week three of the National Football League, and all eyes are on Jared Goff. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Chargers and the Vikings, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. Very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, you look at this Vikings ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. In his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team one managed the game effectively, led him to victory. He's doing all the right things. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The numbers on the ground for Gainwell last week. 21 carries, 91 yards. And we all know he had a big workload last week, so I'm eager to see if they decide to back him off a little bit. Personally, I hand it to him 20-plus times again. When a running back's locked in like he is, I want him to keep touching the football. A second down throw for Purdy. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Here's the punter Martin out to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Second down and eight. To throw is gone. And complete to Drake London. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three-touchdown game of their victory a week ago. Well, what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big-time tackles really put it on those receivers. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Goff throwing again. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. For Williams, there are the numbers from a week ago. 
Three catches, 71 yards, and a touchdown. And they think they have a matchup advantage in this one. They're going to try and find some space for him to work and make sure he touches the football. Here's second and five now from the 37. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he'll go down at the 28. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. A gain of three, second down. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. They'll try the air now with Gall. Complete. Smith has it. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. The name Viking fans know well. It's the brother of Dalvin, James Cook. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Kareem Hunt, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Chargers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. Here comes Marquez Stevenson now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. But the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet. And say All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it up. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Hunt will try going up the middle. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. This defense for the Vikings, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's gone. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a charger touchdown. Mike Williams, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. 
Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Stevenson elects not to return it. It's a touchback. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Dobbs goes in motion. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and instead a give up the middle. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. Third and nine here. Back to throw, Purdy. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. They run behind center with Gamewell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Jones has it. A gain of eight there on the play. And it's third and four now. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can he get out of it? And that flips the other one, too, and he throws it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On first and ten, it's game one. That's on the former first-rounder, Taylor Decker. Straight ahead, it's game well. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. As they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Purdy from the gun. A short one there caught by Swain. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Purdy with it on third and long. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Now Goff on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. He's got his man, London, right side. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throws right back to London, complete again. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now it's gone. Williams brings it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. From the 48 yard line, here's second and six. A give right side now to Hunt. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. From the gun, here's Golf. And that would be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, Carter. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer and make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Purdy. He'll find Gainwell out of the backfield. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. Caught by Jones. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Purdy. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here are the Chargers to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A nice pickup by Hunt, and you know he is hungry to be a more featured player in an offense. This is still the guy who led the league in rushing as a rookie in 2017, and he has proven since that he can still be an impact runner. Golf. That's complete out left to Ayu. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge. And they complete the pass there for another first down. Now a play fake, and it's gone. 
A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38 yard line, second and nine. They'll give to Hunt here on the option. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Goff now to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but the timing was a little off on that throw. Now, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that time. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, it actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But it had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. But no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis no match, down. that's just an unforced error. Stay alert. Don't jump early and give them free yardage. Purdy looking to throw. He completes it to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And here's a handoff to Gainwell. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Here's second and ten. Second and ten. At the 42 yard line. Here's the rookie from Auburn, Tank Bigsby. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46 yard line. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Third down and six. Throwing here, Purdy. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Purdy now to throw. He'll check this one down to Gainwell. Win the maneuver at the 35. And all the way down to the 33-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Here's Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Vikings first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Purdy will look to throw again here. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. They've converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. 
We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And his kick is indeed good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal can change the fortunes of the team, and they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. The Charger drive about to get going. And with a 17-3 cushion already, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. They'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, gone. He's got his target. That's complete. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. Let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three. 17-3 the score as we resume action for the second half on EA Sports. This is Jakeem Grant. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Goff on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Shotgun snap for Gong. Into the hands of London. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and three. Out of the gun. Gong. Short throw to Smith. Seven yards there and a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to run. 
And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, you hate that defensively. They had him pretty well corralled, but the face mask, that obviously changes things. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because you feel like you did everything right. You had him stop, but the hand gets up just a little too high, and the natural inclination is to hold on, and that's going to get called every time. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And brought it down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Now it's Goff off the bootleg towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. A bad time for a false start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. Stevenson elects not to return it. It's a touchback. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they'll begin on the ground with Gamewell. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. And they'll go right back to Gamewell here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And it's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. No return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Now third down and seven. Now gone. 
that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Here's a handoff to Hunt running left. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 80 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back to the ground. This time Cook. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Here's Goff. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Irv Smith, Jr., from 10 yards out, as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Taken at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Back to throw, Purdy. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Now a handoff to Bigsby. There he goes, right side. And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. A big play there for Minnesota. 54 yards. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Running right, this is game well. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. here losing yardage to the 14 it'll go as a loss of a yard so now they deal with third and 11 birdie oh you saw that one coming it's intercepted thrown back across his body picked off by Bobby O'Karake and the Chargers are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. 
CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. They'll begin the drive with Hunt, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get a good one moving the football. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. 94 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. First down, here's the run with Cook. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run right side with Hunt, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those Mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The Chargers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This time, it's third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. In motion left goes a tight end. Cook up the gun, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And they stop him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Jake Moody now on for the field goal. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. 
and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And now out comes Minnesota. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Purdy's throw taken in here by Patrick. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 16 and the Vikings have the first down as well. Operating from the gun, Purdy. The short one there caught by Swain. Give him a gain of five on the completion and that'll bring up second down. Operating from the gun, Purdy. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. But this game well in hand. Perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. Now Purdy. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Javon Hargrave able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. An excellent play by Hargrave, who was a pro bowler in 2021 and was even better in 2022. Had his best year as a pass rusher with 11 sacks and was rewarded with a massive free agent contract. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for L.A., it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2-1. And, and they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers.